Week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. Here's more in our Week in Review. The week begins in France, where a fire breaks out at the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. God bless you to uh, Paris and to France, what they're going through. It's just, you'll go back and you'll see what's, uh, what's happening. It's a, a very, very sad Thing. Also on Monday, former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld launches his bid for the White House. I'm announcing that I'm running for President of the United States as a Republican against President Trump uh, in 2020. Tuesday, President Trump vetoes a bill to end America's support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen, while Ivanka Trump arrives in West Africa, where she advocates for women's rights in the region. Midweek, a man accused of carrying gasoline and lighter fluid into St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City is arrested and faces arson charges. Also on Wednesday, the former president of Peru dies from a self-inflicted gunshot wound just minutes ahead of his arrest. Thursday, the president meets with wounded warriors at the White House. Plus, no obstruction, no collusion. The redacted Mueller report is finally released Thursday, with the White House calling the findings a victory. But thanks to the special counsel's thorough investigation, we now know that the Russian operatives who perpetrated these schemes did not have the cooperation of President Trump or the Trump campaign. Also on Thursday, several groups of Central American migrants merge into one super caravan in Mexico, making its way to the U.S. border. Thursday night in Northern Ireland, a prominent young journalist shot dead while covering violent riots in Londonderry. Finally, on Friday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo responds to Pyongyang's call to have him removed as the president's top negotiator. Nothing's changed. We're continuing to work to negotiate. I'm still in charge of the team. President Trump's obviously in charge of the overall effort, um, but it'll be my team. This following reports North Korea launched a new tactical weapon on Thursday. And finally, Christians around the world begin celebrations on Good Friday in preparation for Easter Sunday. Rachel Senes, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.